Hello and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all of my members that are appearing on screen right now. If you would like to see your name up there, then you can become a channel member. You can either become a shout out supporter, which basically gets your name on screen before a reaction video, or you can become a member for the weekly catch ups where I do uh, weekly content. It depends really. Some weeks I do live streams, some weeks I do get ready with me's, but it's a, it's a but it's an opportunity for me to update you on what's been going on with my life to catch up with you guys it is a bit more of a personal touch so if you want you can sign up to that tier of membership as well of course you don't have to become a member just simply you watching the video even better if you could like comment and subscribe all of that is greatly appreciated if you want to leave a super thanks that would of course also be greatly appreciated so once again thank you so much for the ongoing support from all of my channel members i really do appreciate it a lot and now let's get in to the video hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel is that better mm. My name is Ilona, I'm also known as Shakur Transformations, I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. So if you're curious to see what my prep journey is all about, I am 11 weeks out from tomorrow. Then check that out, how I train, how I eat, what I get up to. I'm actually going to go to my boyfriend's today. When you're going to see this, I'm not sure. Don't think I have a chance to edit it today. Might do, might not. Might do it over the weekend because he might have to work. We'll see. If not, maybe you'll see it next week. Regardless, it's uh, Friday the 15th and um, I wasn't sure who to react to and then in my members live stream yesterday one of you guys asked me to do a reaction to Mrs. Green Eyes also known as Taking Weight Off um, and because apparently she started like a new weight loss journey and I figured we could check it out so she's lost 20 pounds in two months which is good she's I mean if we look at her page she is uh, quite overweight like I don't know I think she lost more than 20 pounds in these in this thumbnail here she definitely lost more than 20 pounds but i think this is maybe like at the very beginning of her journey perhaps and this is like where she's now so i don't think this is maybe the beginning this is not the beginning of her current weight loss journey because she does a lot of them all the time and doesn't really progress uh, i did a video on her like two years ago and we're still in the same space so that's a good sign that means that means the weight loss is weight lossing very well um but i think this is the very beginning of her journey as opposed to this particular one and um, so i figured There's a way in. Um, no, bitch. I don't know where to start, actually. What I eat in a day. We could start with uh, what I eat in a day, I guess. And then we could have an estimation. We could uh, we could look at the way in. And then we could look at, it. not the full video, but just the way portion, portion itself. And then we could look at the full day of eating. Because I wonder how much how much she weighs. And then I can have like an idea of like if a full day of eating, if this representative of the deficit that she's in. Uh... And if that makes sense, because if she loses 20 pounds in two months, like 10 pounds a month when you dis obese, mm, it depends on whether she's weight training. It's not bad. 10 pounds, 10 pounds a month is not bad, to be honest. It's like a healthy, sustainable weight loss. So I'm not actually going to go for her that hard. Um, so let's just see what the weight is. So I weighed in at 300.0. <laughs> so I'm still at 300. But I am down 2.8 pounds for a total of... 20 pounds lost in nine weeks. I am so incredibly proud. Is this where she started for 20 pounds? I feel like this looks more than 20 pounds. But maybe it's just the outfit. I don't know. Maybe one fits better than the other. But I feel like this looks more than 20 pounds. I don't feel, I feel like... Um, Proud of that. I am so incredibly proud of that. And even more so, I am so incredibly proud. You can definitely see it here. Let me see if I can find the beginning of this journey. First lane. I will put up a picture of what I started at. And I'm not going to lie. If you guys see, if you guys watch Miss Green Eyes, you would see that I am... Um, so I'm just looking into this because I want to try and see how old these pictures are. I'm just trying to ascertain these pictures, these starting pictures. If they are the pictures like when she started her weight loss journey, this one that she's now, or if they're older than that. Look, and everyone was telling me don't, and I was like, I'm going to look. And I'm so glad that I did. I'm really so glad that I did. Because where I was thinking I was, which was like 294, I was actually 312. 
like something has to be done. You're learning. So how, how do you go from 312 to 300 and it's a 20 pound loss? I'm so confused. I like, I'm not the best at math. I will admit that I'm very bad at math. So it's really not my strong suit. But I know that 312 minus 300 is not 12. But that's not 20 pounds down. Learning about intuitive eating and that is the end goal 100%. Because if you remember last week, I waited at 310.8. So I was like, mm -mm -mm. I got on again. I was like, my, my, there's something messed up with my scale. I got on again. I'm like, it's going to say like maybe like 309 or something, which I'll still be happy with, but it's not going to be 307, 307.2. Girl, would I tell you? I so needed to see that. Oh my gosh. I am down 3.6 pounds in one week. Four so she's down 3.6 pounds here. Okay, so she 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 is she started her journey at 312. Okay. That's what she just admitted. Allegedly this is her at 312 is what she's saying. And then she's saying here. Hey guys, it's Jill. welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to another weigh in nine weight loss results. So, I weighed in at 300.0. <laughs> so, I'm still at 300, but I am down 2.8 pounds for a total of 20 pounds lost. How? Did she gain weight and lose it again? I'm not going to go through all of these weight loss. So we, we literally just watched this with our own eyes, right? I'm not being stupid here. I did sleep very poorly and I woke up incredibly early. I've been awake since 3 o'clock and I've had like 4 or 5 hours sleep. So it's possible that I'm, my brain ain't braining properly. This is quite a possibility, but from 3.12 when she started to 300, how is it 20 pounds down? Did she gain weight and lose it again? And she's counting that as... A weight loss it must be right so I'm so confused this is really confusing for me and I can't bother to go through all of the videos because it's too many so um, let's look at this full day of eating I guess and go from there Hey guys, it's Shell. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. I do want to say before we get into She does have a, a nutritionist from what I understand, so I'm assuming she's on a meal plan. And um, like what she said earlier, she's um she was and what from what she said earlier, she was doing intuitive eating gain shock horror. Who's surprised by obese people getting more obese by intuitive eating? Nobody is really. Hey, it's almost like the hunger signaling doesn't work properly. And this is the it's almost like the hunger signaling hunger signaling doesn't work properly and they prefer to eat calorically dense foods over whole foods. And this is usually speaking why a lot of obese people are obese, but you know. This video, if you like this video What do I know? I'm not a doctor after all. <laughs> yeah, make sure you like it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. And I also have a channel membership. If you go down underneath this video, also it's actually gonna be in the description box too, but you can go up underneath this video and right next to the subscribe button is a button that'll say join and you can pull it up and you will be able to see all of the perks and everything that are in each of the tiers. So if you wanna come join me over on my channel membership, I would greatly appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get into this video of what I eat today. Okay, so this is a pretty standard breakfast for me. In here I have, it's really hot, so there we go. A third of a cup of egg beaters, not egg whites, egg beaters, because to me they taste much more like real eggs than egg whites, egg whites. Ew. Anyways, uh, one turkey sausage patty, 14 grams of Velveeta shreds, shredded cheese. And then I also have a hash brown patty on top. It's it looks nice, not overly healthy, not overly bad, I suppose. It's kind of like an intermediate. So freaking good. This is one of my favorite breakfasts. And then I have a piece of sourdough with nine grams of butter on there. And then I'm going to have some. Nine grams of butter on one slice of toast. Do you know how much butter that is? Like a slice of toast maybe needs five grams of butter, but nine? That's like double the amount of butter that I would put on a slice of toast, that's for sure. Um, strawberry blueberries, strawberries and blueberries. Um, so yeah, that is a breakfast. This is a pretty standard breakfast every day. It is lunchtime and I am making a Rotel dip. Like, do you remember like the sausage Rotel dip that's I don't know if they're still at functions, like Super Bowl parties or like get togethers. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. And I'm making a single serving and I'm having it for lunch and it's gonna be delicious. First, I'm starting with making my own tortilla chips. Now you can totally make these in the microwave. I think I'm gonna just do it in the air fryer real quick. These, I meant to get the 45 calorie. There's a brand that they are 45 calories. So two of these would have been, what is that, 90 calories versus 140 calories. But this is all I have on hand. So this is what we're going to use. These are the Mission Carb Balance flour tortillas. So like four grams of net carbs in this and also five. Oh, she's doing this whole net carb thing. She's carb counting while doing the net carb. Like if you're going to count carbs, just count carbs. Unless you're like so unlikely to eat. People that do this is usually people that are obese 
and they stay obese because they're playing too many too much with their net carbs just just count your carbs if you're trying to mind your carbs just don't eat them if you're gonna get them get them from whole foods and just don't count the carbs sorry I've got my phone on my fingers um it had a, it had a cut in it under my nail and I've got a bit of like a fungus on there now apparently so I have to um, put this oil on there apparently massage it in and that's hopefully we'll fix it and then I can put a fake nail on there again grams of protein in just one I am going to have two and all I'm going to do is take out two of them now this is gonna be a really weird lunch okay but I'm thinking high volume but also what I'm craving so we're gonna go ahead and take two of these now I do know that you could also take tortilla chips if you didn't want to go through this step and it'll be the same exact calories because two tortilla chips are going to be one serving of tortilla chips is 140 calories. However, I don't know how many you get, but they will be. It will, you have to weigh it out then, I guess. More delicious than this. I'm, I'm just saying they 100% will be. But I decided that I'm going to go ahead because this sausage rotel dip isn't the healthiest. This is a little better for you because it's, you know, it's got all the fiber and stuff. So this is what I'm doing. Let me go ahead and put the camera down. I'm just taking a pizza cutter and I'm just, I know I should be doing this on a, what's it called? a cutting board but I'm just gonna put all of these into my air fryer basket so into an air fryer basket these go I'm gonna put them on I got my creamy through and I still need to play around with it I'll try to do it later today I tried to make it the other day and it didn't work so I'll have to try it again today with a new one a new creamy recipe I don't know like spray just let's just I'm gonna spray them just a little bit with this oil I don't even know if there really was much in there I think that was just a bunch of toxic fumes <laughs> I'm gonna spray it with or I'm gonna put some salt on it and then I'm just gonna put this in the air fryer. I will link this down below, by the way. I freaking love this thing. But we're gonna put it over here. Such a big air fryer, but so handy. And I'm gonna do, let's just do 400 and let's try 10 minutes. Let's see how that goes. Can y'all see that? I don't think you can. So my, my computer is lagging a little bit because she's one and a half speeds, but I don't want her to watch her normal speed. <laughs> So 400 for 10 minutes and let's make our Rotel dip. So what you're gonna need for the Rotel dip is two sausage, turkey sausage patties. These are the ones I like. They have the least amount of calories out of all the, the turkey breakfast sausage patties that I've seen. They have 110 calories in two patties. Does she not eat like actual meat? Does she, does, does, does she live with turkey sausages? Or does it just happen to be this particular video? So I'm gonna go ahead and get two of these out of this package. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna put it into this little bowl. So I'm gonna bring you guys down again. Then the Kashkaval cheese. La vache curry, not Kashkaval. Kashkaval with cheese. La vache curry, the laughing cow. And what I like to do with this is just take my kitchen scissors and I will cut them this way and then I'm going to pick them back up and cut them just like in little crumbles basically. That's what they end up looking like. Now you're going to take some Rotel. Basically what Rotel is is basically just diced tomatoes with green chilies. And I'm actually going to do a I mean, I don't know what she does for a living. I don't know if she works or if YouTube is her thing. But if you're just at home, like, why can't you chop your own vegetables? I get it from tin. Really, you know, nothing is going into it except for tomatoes and peppers. I don't know. Like, stuff like this to me is kind of lazy. And then, look, if you're busy and you have a, like, you, have, you don't have a lot of spare time and you're not at home a lot, I understand. Maybe this is convenient. But if you're at home all the time, how long does it take to, like, cut up, cut up some tomatoes? It doesn't take that long. And you can make like a big bowl of it and you can just take from it whenever you need if you want to spread like prepare for a couple of days a little mixture of both of these and i'm gonna do four tablespoons i like the liquid so i use the liquid so two tablespoons of this one which is the mild and then two tablespoons of the original one two. now you're going to take two white laughing cow cheese triangles i was going to say squares and you're just going to put that down over top of your little sausage rotel mixture. I don't know what's going on with my air fryer. I looked at it. I don't know why it's making that noise. I don't know if it's the paper that's... Yeah, it's the paper. It's like getting caught, isn't it? It's, uh, flying around or what? I don't know. But this down in the bottom. Now we are going to take the star of the show. Actually, all of these things are the star of the show. Oh, if I can get it open. My son's not here. Y'all... What are you doing is you... Put, you put a knife, take a knife, puncture the top, the lid, and then you get the air out, and then you can release the, um, you can open it. Oh, okay, I got it! All right, we are going to do... Well, at least she's weighing everything out. That's something. Just in case you guys don't have a kitchen scale, I'm going to use it with a tablespoon. 
but I have that I'm doing. You, sh you should use a scale as opposed to a spoon. A spoon measurement, unless you have an actual measuring spoon, but a spoon is what. Like I can make a tablespoon twenty grams. I can make a tablespoon sixty grams if I want to. It depends on how much you heap it. Seventy grams of this, so that's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Is this peanut butter? Con queso. Oh, it's con queso. Tablespoons. It's like fat and fat and fat and fat. It's very healthy, that's for sure. It's about four tablespoons of this delicious goodness. And that is what she is looking like. Now I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. While that is going, I have a can of French style green beans. I'm going to eat this entire can and I'm gonna go ahead and set I'm gonna put it in a pot on the stove and I'm just gonna drain the entire can down in and add a little bit of salt and pepper. And that is the volume for today. So then get that going on high and heat that through. Here are our tortilla chips. They came out perfectly. Some of them not as brown, but they're still crispy. It's not very high protein though, is it? It's kind of like um, very high fat. Is she doing low carb? I guess so. So that's all that I care about. This is what this deliciousness looks like when it comes out of the microwave. I'm going to go ahead and just mix it together so I can melt in that laughing cow wedge. Just look at that. I, I would smash, not gonna lie. It's like cheese and cheese, isn't it? Of course I would smash. I fucking love cheese. I feel like maybe next time I won't add the juice from the Rotel because it is a little watery. But just look at how delicious this looks. If you guys like this sausage dip and you like it at all those parties that you go to, this would be like a perfect, if you're going to an event and you want a snack, this is a perfect way to go about doing so because you're not going to feel like you're missing out, especially if you love this dip. And if this dip is there. Can you imagine? <laughs> like it would be so awkward to take with you, don't it? Yeah. Do you want to sniff my ear? There we go. So she always likes to sniff the ear. You're an ear sniffer. Yeah, I wouldn't take that with me to an event. I would just eat my normal food because this is going to be really awkward to try and eat. You can still have it and enjoy it, but oh, you have your own tortilla chips that you've made, mm -hmm. and then you also have your own personal size of this Rotel sausage dip. So we are going to go ahead and taste test this together. So take my chip, take my Rotel dip. You're going to fucking face off, ain't you? She is hot. Oh, it smells so good. I bet it's tasty. When I tell you this tastes exactly like the Rotel dip, just way lower in calories. I don't know what it is, Rotel. It is absolutely incredible. But if it's made with cheese and meat, I'm gonna like it. Mm. So incredible. Mm. Okay. So I have my green beans. I will just eat until I'm full. So if I eat all of this, I eat all of it. If I eat half of it, I eat half of it. But for sure, this is what we are eating first. And then for extra protein, I have a protein shake here, which has 30 grams of protein. And just so why wouldn't she, if she's going to make something like that, why would she not have like shredded chicken to go through there instead of like the, the turkey patties? I understand the turkey patties maybe for flavor, but why not to up the protein? Just put some actual shredded chicken through there because I bet that would be quite nice as well, chicken breast. You could easily shred some chicken through there. That would be like, like it would be like a... Um, Buffalo chicken sort of thing, right? That would be really nice, actually. Now, a cup of uh, oatmeal in there, and then I just take my filtered water. Very, very, very filling, for sure. So for snack, I'm- So I'm gonna just skip through some of this here, because she was talking about some gifts that she was sent about some snacks, and it's not uh, of my interest. I'm going to have several things. I'm gonna have oatmeal, so I'm gonna have half a cup of oatmeal. Okay, so I just have half a cup of uh, oatmeal in there, and then I just take my filtered water, and I just put some in there. I don't really measure. And then for sweetness, I will take a skinny syrup. So this is the birthday cake. You can get these from- I miss the skinny syrups. They were so good. Um, skinnymixes.com. I'm just gonna put about that much in there. And sometimes I'll do the vanilla. I have all kinds of flavors. And this is one thing, like this is literally all I need is water, oatmeal, and the, the sweetener, the syrup. It tastes amazing. I have had this new obsession with oatmeal. I used to love it back in the day. And then I don't, don't like it. Is she gonna let it soak though? I mean, she's gonna eat it like that, just like, raw i mean you don't have to cook it you can eat it raw but you know what i mean she's not like let the, gonna let the oat, the oat flakes soak up the juice a little bit eat your own i suppose i ate so much of it and then i stopped and i just couldn't it was just like ugh, i really don't like it these have been a game changer in me loving oatmeal again because that's it that's 150 calories right there you got heart healthy fiber heart healthy grains i put it in the microwave for like a minute and a minute and a half 
something like that. And then I just go ahead and eat it. And then I'm also going to have a banana. And I'm also- A lot of carbs. I'm so confused by her diet. I mean, it's all okay, to be fair. It's like, so far, it's not too bad. But it's for somebody that like, I don't know, she's not very active. I don't think she works out. It's, it's quite, um, it's, yeah. So I'm going to have a banana cream puff, banana cream pie, built bar puff. These are some of my favorites. These are- uh, Again, no real food. What, 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 what is it with people that are obese? And their refusal to just eat actual protein. Like, wh why don't you want to eat some chicken breast or some steak or some salmon or fish or prawns? Or like, like, why? What's the refusal to eat extra cuts of meat? I find it really bizarre. I don't get it. It's more filling for less calories, and it tastes better. I don't know. They're so freaking good. We're gonna have this. I'm probably gonna bring this to the game and eat it there because I feel like I'm gonna feel really full after eating the oatmeal and then the banana. I'm probably. You're gonna feel really full after half a cup of oatmeal. Highly doubt that, but okay. I'm probably gonna slice some of the banana into my oatmeal, but these, let me tell you something, perfect on the go snack, 17 grams of protein, 140 calories, 14 carbs, you cannot beat these. I love to take these with me on the go and I literally eat a built Puff every single day. They are a treat. Even last year when I was doing this and I was gaining my weight, I was still eating a built Puff every single day. They are that damn good. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They have a marshmallowy texture on the inside. And I mean, you can't beat 140 calories, seven, 17 grams of protein. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. It's still not real protein though, is it? Like protein bar, protein shake protein is okay. Um, protein bar protein is like even less okay. But it's just not, it's just like an actual cut of meat, is it? Great way to get in protein and keep you satiated and full. So this is definitely gonna hold me over for the long haul because like I said, I've got several, several hours before we're gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat dinner, which is later than normal. So MGE 10 saves you 10% on built bars. MGE 10 also saves you 10% on skinny syrups if you wanna purchase those as well. I have not, listen, I went to Marshall's the other day and I went looking for skinny syrups and I couldn't find them. I don't think they sell them at Marshall's and Ross. Have you guys seen them? Let me know in the comments down below. I saw a bunch of Tarani and then a bunch of these new brands that are like, I guess, getting on the bandwagon of, of zero calorie syrups i didn't i didn't i walked out with nothing i was like i was really looking for my mermaid syrup because that's my favorite <laughs> i couldn't find it so uh yeah mge 10 saves you 10 percent on skinny syrups if you want them they're great for yogurt they're great for oatmeal they're great for your car you get the skinny syrups in the uk i ordered them they're all right i like the syrups the the small bottles not those ones they, they're supposed to be for like coffees and stuff but the, the, the thicker syrups and they do like the barbecue sauces and sweet chili and all of that also Definitely good if you're trying to diet. The zero calorie stuff, I use it. Not in excess, but I do use it. Coffees, your smoothies, your teas, all of those things. And then MGE 10, I'm telling you, MGE 10, like you guys are going to, you guys need to have these, they're so freaking good. So that is, that link, both links are gonna be linked down below in the description box, but that is what is for snack today. And I wanna go enjoy watching my baby girl and her last, while she cheers for the last couple of games of the season, which makes me sad, but. For dinner, I have a baked potato with some garlic butter, some broccoli, and then a hamburger. And I just seasoned it with uh, minced onion and seasoned salt. And then I have- Oh, the Lisa burger is homemade, I suppose. Just like a, what do you call this? Like <laughs> plastic cheese, I don't know. Uh, I have a little bit of Duke's mayonnaise and then a thing of uh, a green leaf lettuce. Yes, I'm tired, y'all. Um, I would love to have tomato and onion, but I don't have any of that. So this is what we're doing. And that is dinner. Yum. For dessert. So I reckon we have peanut butter blossoms. I had one already. This is just the peanut butter cookie dough that you find. I think it's Pillsbury. And I just made enough for all of us to just have for tonight. I love this about that cookie dough. It's in like little blocks. So you just. You don't get something without here cook what you want. I usually keep it in the freezer. So that way, I don't know, something about putting it in the freezer like makes it less tempting for me. I don't know. I don't know. I also don't open the freezer as much as I open the fridge and I also don't see it. So kind of like out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Um, but I just put a Hershey Kiss on top. They're so gross. I, that, like how you people in America eat chocolate, I don't know. But somebody brought up, when I, when I used to work in offices, somebody brought over chocolate from America once. It was fucking disgusting. I'm sorry if that offends you, but it's the truth. If you're used to chocolate in Europe, Hershey's is fucking rank. Like the Reese's and stuff is nice, but Hershey's, oh, I had them, I thought I thought the chocolate had gone off. I thought it had like, it had soured or something. And they're like, no, this is how it tastes. I'm like, what the fuck? 
Like, it's it's offensive. <laughs> like, it's offensive. That's how bad it was. I was like, oh, this is literally disgusting. Some of the worst things I've ever put in my mouth. I was shocked. I was shocked. I didn't know that chocolate could taste so bad. Um, in terms of calories, I think this full day of eating so far is around 2200 to 2500 is my guess. And it is so freaking good. So this is going to end my night. Cheers. I will tell you guys in a little bit. My I think stuff like that is also like so much mindset that you feel like you need to have a dessert or you need to have something in the evening to watch TV with, like just snack on, like why? <laughs> Can you not just like watch TV or watch a movie without snacking? Just because you've done it all your life, that doesn't mean you have to do it now. I just don't understand, like, I don't understand mindset like that, like I need to have a dessert or I need to have this or that. It's like, no, you don't, you want to, but you know, it's unnecessary, like, you don't need to sit there, like, you don't need snacks, you can go to the cinema without food, I mean, like, I don't, unless it's falls. I, I can go to, I don't really go to the cinema, because I find it boring, but if I do go to the cinema, I take food with me, because, like, it's for my meals and stuff, and I can't go several hours without eating, well, I can, I'll just be really hungry, but when I'm in prep, I can't, because my blood sugar levels just fucking crash, but it's just, like, you can watch a, you can watch a movie without having to, like, overindulge it's a it's a possibility you know that right i'm just in case you didn't know i'm going to tell you right now you can sit there for an hour and a half to two hours without having to have indulge in snacks throughout the whole movie it's not necessary i'm not saying don't do it i'm just saying like you don't have to either you'll you'll survive the movie trust me i, I can guarantee you'll probably go an hour and a half without eating and without dying i'm pretty sure activity and what all i did today and Cheers. All right, I am done for the night. I'm about to call it a night to go read my book in bed. So I'm gonna show y'all my activity. I can find it. All right, that's my move. My exercise. My stand and my steps. I got 10,000 steps, okay. I wasn't sure. Like, step counting is the, one of the best measures. But, uh, will you stop it, please, drama queen? Hey. Counting your steps and being active and walking is supposed to be one of the best ways to lose weight. Uh, to track it. So if you try to lose weight, rather than doing, like, half an hour of cardio or, like, 20 minutes of cardio in the gym, you're better off doing, like, okay, I'm going to increase my steps from 5,000 to 6 or from 6 to 7 or whatever it is. I did a lot yesterday. I think I almost did 17,000, which is probably partially why I slept really bad, bad last night. And also because I'm going to go away and I've got loads of things to do today. And because whenever I have loads of things to do in a day, my I can't relax properly. So, And then because I did a lot of steps yesterday, I think this is also why I slept badly. Hey, Trouble. Hey, Skulk. Skulky. Skulky McSkulker Skulks. Hey. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Big bum. My big bum. If I was going to, going to get it, because I saw that I was close. So 10,000, 10,045 steps today. <laughs> My workout was a walk on the treadmill for 1.15 miles. And macros. Okay, so the day ended up being... I'm going to guess the protein is around like 100. The carbs is going to be around... 150 and the fats are going to, the fats are going to be higher. I reckon the fats are probably going to be like a solar hundred as well. Maybe one more. Coming out at 2,259 cal. I know what I'm talking about. Scale eyes. Scale eyes. One day people will believe me. I don't just make this shit up. What did I say? I reckon around 100 protein. Hold on. Let me just do the maths here. Yes. I'll give her credit for doing macros though, that's fair play, at least she's calorie counting properly. So I reckon, this is my estimate, it's around 100 car, 100, it's around 100 protein, 150 carbs, and around 120 fats, that's my guess. But the fats could be higher, the fats could be lower and the carbs could be higher. Calories, 279 carbs, but I also had 64 grams of fiber, so like net carbs. I mean, I'm closer than that carbs. It's like pretty low. Uh, 146 grams of protein and 79 grams of fat. Okay, I was wrong there, but it didn't seem like that was... Where did she get her protein from, though? She didn't really eat any protein. Like, there's sausages. That kind of... Bit. Is she the kind of person that counts like the protein in bread? I mean, I suppose you could, but... I suppose that is counting macros. That is counting macros, to be fair. I'll give her credit. So like, I'm going to stop the video here. That is counting the macros. But she didn't, like, it didn't feel like 150 grams of protein in terms of, like, actual protein protein. 
she counted the protein that's in like oats and stuff like that because there was no protein source except for those patties anyway still i was on point with the calories anyway so i'm gonna go because i need to work caffeine then i need to walk my dog oh, then i need to walk my dog because i need to try to train chest chest and the front and side delts which i'm not too keen on because i still have a bit of pain in my, i injure myself here i need to check in with my coach as well which I'm not looking forward to because my weight, my weight is up, but it's up because I slept bad and I walked a lot yesterday. So I know I know the reasons why, but it's still annoying because I've been really obviously on point because I'm in the prep. I mean I'm looking leaner, which is what matters, and my weight is kind of like uh, it kind of is like that when I start prepping anyway. <coughs> there stays the same. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm sure that talking bullshit now. So if you're curious to see what that's all about, check out my vlogs. Um, uploading twice a week, full day of eating at the moment as well as. Um, a weekly vlog where I just recap my week. I film here and there. I also do shorts. Uh, so if you're curious about training and posing and other things, then that's there too. And yeah, on the note, I'm going to go. Let's insert a burger emoji. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.